Joining us now is the owner of the Mumbai Indians, Akash Amani. Akash, how pleased are you with the way the auctions have gone on overall? Very, very pleased. I think we're very pleased with our squad that we have picked and very, very happy with all the players that we have. But also want to mention at this point that we lost a lot of ex-Mumbai Indians players and want to wish them all the best in their new franchises. You will always be part of our family. And, uh, and But we're very, very happy with the players that we picked. The Mumbai fans have also rejoiced with the kind of picks that Mumbai have got. That family was always there. But now when you take a look at that top seven, do you reckon that it's attuned properly for the demands and rigours of modern day T20? Yeah, uh, the batting of the top seven, we had kept four out of seven already. So just needed to fill a couple of slots with the right complementary players. We focused a lot in this auction on getting our bowling combination right. And uh, I think we've achieved that at the end of two days of auction and uh, very, very happy with the entire shape of the squad, you know, the first 14, 15 players and then the backup seven or eight. Akash, Mumbai Indians have always had the world's best, the greatest fast bowler. But now with the addition of Trent Bolt and Reese Topley, yeah. would you reckon that that bowling now has serious firepower? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Bolty and Topley we wanted because they both are left arm seamers. There's a point of difference for us. Uh, of course, we've seen Trent in Mumbai Indians before. So, uh, so he adds an invaluable skill to just preet skill and um, taking that new ball swinging it we've been hurt by him for the last couple of years when he's not played for us and topley is the perfect you know player for him also um, can play together and also to mention lizard williams is someone that we really rate that we picked you know with the pace and the skidiness that he brings and obviously the ability to bowl at the death akash in the past few seasons if mumbai have lacked Maybe in one department, it has been the spin department. But now with Mitchell Santner and the mystery spinner from Afghanistan, Allah Ghazanfar, would you say now that spin department has some serious class? Yeah, I think every time I used to watch these auction reviews, they were saying Mumbai Indians only lacks in the spinning department. And, you know, it takes us a lot to be convinced about foreign spinners. Of course, we would have loved the Indian spinners, but they went too expensive. And um, But... It takes us a lot to convince for two foreign spinners and actually the lineup, one of the lineups we're imagining in certain opposition and certain venues is actually playing both Santana and Allah as our frontline spinners. So that's, that's, that's a bit of a shift. The new Mumbai Indian squad is a very different Mumbai Indian squad that we're all used to, but uh, very, very happy with how the balance is and, and how we can go on the park and play some competitive cricket. Akash, that loyal fan base who wear their heart on the sleeve and support Mumbai Indians. Last time Mumbai Indians won the trophy was in 2020. What do you want to say to that loyal fan base after the auctions have concluded? I, I, your will to want the sixth trophy for Mumbai Indians has been driving us and, uh, and we want it more than ever. You know, I, I was almost telling the team that if we are able to get the sixth trophy, uh, then it would almost be like the first trophy back again because it's been a long time uh, and that was our wish and we hope that we can deliver you this sixth trophy in the coming season. Thank you so much, Akash. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.